Alright guys, so I'm just out here running around on Medved Taiga, and I wanted to check um, my own map, um, because I have not checked it for moose yet, and I still want to find a diamond moose. And I thought I had checked down at this end of this lake over here, but I guess I had not. And look what we have. That is a massive level 5 moose. Holy crap. So what we're probably going to try and do is... How far away is he? About right at 200 meters. We're going to try and get um, per uh, perfectly in front of him. And then if we can get to like 160 meters or so, I'll take a hard shot. I don't like taking hard shots from a longer distance. That's not right on the zeroing. But uh, I feel pretty comfortable and generally, I think, like, I feel like I can get along if I miss. So, that's probably what we're going to try and do. Well, yeah, let's try and go for the hard shot. Let's, ju let's just do it. I will say that this guy does have a different rack than the troll I shot. Um, troll I shot has, well, the rack that tends to troll a lot. This rack, I think I've seen it troll maybe once. But I don't think it trolls a ton. So, hopefully we should be alright with this. So, go ahead and get out the 300. Ooh, that is a massive moose. Holy crap. Right, when he lifts his head up. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to like turn off tracks and all that stuff. Because um, I do want to try and get a screenshot of this. That is awesome. So we want... Hold on. If I can find this. Track effects are off. Oh, and I want to turn the hunting hut off. That's what the thing was. So, high hunting hut. There we go. Alright. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. There we go. That right there is a massive level five moose. Holy crap. Okay, that's a good picture right there. I like that. There we go. All right, let's see. And diamond moose. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and taxidermize that. Just barely got the heart shot in there. I thought it felt like we were a little high, but we'd have been good. We got a lung anyways, so. Just curious that oh, oh wow, he only made it by point two. Okay, all right. I'm curious how symmetrical he is. Perfect. Uh, yeah, perfectly symmetrical. All right, I will take that. There we go. I knew this rack didn't generally make it by much, but oh, that's so awesome. Let's go. Always wanted to find one of those. Awesome. See that right there is a level 9 red deer. Oh my gosh. No way. Holy crap. Alright. Um. Shoot. Um. What should I do? I don't know what to do because I don't know if he's going to come back or not. I don't know. And this area is so thick you can hardly see. I don't know. We're probably just going to take it slow and see if we can come back on him. Okay guys, so right here in front of us is the red deer, and I've just crouched down, I don't see him, he should have been like right in there I think, yep there he is right there, he just steps out, and there we go, oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. It's been a long time since I've seen that rack. Now, mind you, of course he fell in a bush. But that is so cool. Let's go. Diamond Red Deer. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. 255 is actually a decent one for the smaller variation of this rack. So... I will definitely take that all day 
long. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. And he's actually not symmetrical. He's actually like not symmetrical. I'm curious. Huh. I think, yeah, this is, he is actually not symmetrical. That's so cool. He is a little wonky looking. That's really neat. Okay, that is, that is super cool. Wow. That is so awesome. I'm so glad to finally have another diamond red deer. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So down here we have a level five feral goat. So I want to get out the Mosin real quick. It's actually a mixed. Oh my gosh. No way. Okay. I did not realize that. I was going to take a risky shot until I realized that he's a mixed. So hopefully he's only attentive. Come on, just go alert, you stupid goat. Come on. Oh my gosh. See, I don't like frontal shots with the Mosin. There we go. So if he would just turn broadside for me. Wow, that is cool. A mixed level five. Only ever seen one of these before and it trolled me by a lot. So hopefully this guy will make it as long as he will turn around and give me a shot. Aggravating thing. Come on, turn around. You stupid goat, just turn around. How hard is it to turn around? Just like that. Smoked. Completely smoked. Let's go, guys. Mixed feral goat down. That thing, I mean, he might make it. I don't know. It's going to be tight, I think. I Just because of how stupid feral goats are sometimes, I'm going to say he's going to troll. And I'm going to say 206. That's the score I'm guessing. I'm going to say 206. If I had to guess, that's more than likely what it would end up being. Just because, you know, how feral goats like to be a lot. Doesn't have super crazy horns. But let's see. And, oh, this is actually only 202. I mean, I'll tax him just because he's mixed. I mean, he won't make it into the main lodge, but... Dang it, I was really hoping that would be a diamond mix. That would be so cool. Ugh. All right, well, whatever. All right, guys, so we should have a light brown turkey over here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, this thing has been such a pain in the butt. I have been looking all over the place. I've messed up several opportunities to get him. And I, he just keeps disappearing. I don't know where he goes. And I struggle to track them because turkeys, they seem to go forever when they fly. And then they make weird turns and you can't ever find them again. But I have no idea where this guy could have gone. So, really don't have any clue. Oh, there he is right there. Get out the 22. Got him. Got him. Oh man. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess that worked. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, there he is. I mean, he's not a big one, sadly, but, I mean, a light brown's a light brown. I'll take a rare turkey. I swear, for the longest time, I could never find a rare turkey, and now I just find them everywhere. So, no clue. But, there we go. Light brown male turkey. It's pretty awesome. So, I will take that all day long. Glad we were able to get another one. It'll fill up a plaque or two in the lodge anyways. So yeah. There we go. And actually got him while flying. Awesome. Alright guys. So I don't know how I did not know this guy was out here. But this is on my own parquet. We have a level 5 black buck. Um, we were just at this lake on stream the other day too. Shot two mule deer. Right there. I was just coming out here because we got our diamond mule deer. And uh, picking up all my tents and stuff. 
and darn if this isn't what I have come out here and see. So, there for 150. And just completely smoked the black buck. That is crazy, because I did not see him the other day when we were over here. No idea how we didn't see that. Oh well, whatever. Let's go see if uh, he ends up making it. All right, and here is our black buck. Let's see. Maybe this guy will make it, and he sure does. 134.10, so that's actually a fairly low weight considering. But that is a really nice looking black buck. Let's see, I'm curious if he's, he's actually not even. This is my second diamond black buck that is not perfectly even. All right, yeah, it's cool sometimes when they have just a little bit of variation in them. I don't know, I think that's pretty neat. Go ahead and taxidermize him. That's actually a fairly low weight too, 49.14. So it's probably my smallest one yet. All right, well, I mean, hey, I'll take it. Diamond's a diamond, so there we go, let's go.